Hello everyone, now let us discuss about drug approval process in India. The Drugs and Cosmetic Act 1940 and Rules 1945 were passed by Indian Parliament to regulate the import, manufacturing, transport and sale of pharmaceuticals and cosmetics. The Central Drug Standard Control Organization is led by the Drugs Controller General. The Indian government modified the Drugs and Cosmetics Rules of 1945 in 1998, creating a Schedule I. When a business in India wants to develop or import a new medicine, it must fill out Form 44 and transmit the data needed under Schedule Y of the Drugs and Cosmetics Act 1940 and Rules 1945 to the licensing body. It must conduct clinical trials in accordance with the standards specified in Schedule Y and use the results of those trials in the manner outlined in Schedule Y to show its efficacy and safety in the Indian community. The need for local clinical trials in India is based on the drug's status in other countries. Generally, phase 3 trials are expected if the medication has already been accepted in the other countries. In India, phase 1 trials are only permitted if data from other countries is present. In India, the phase 1 trials are only permitted if data from other countries is present. And if the medicine has a particular significance to health issue in India, such as malaria or tuberculosis, the DCGI will give permission to run phase 1 trials in India. When conducting bioavailability and bioequivalence testings, the bioavailability and bioequivalence criteria should be followed. Aside from safety and efficacy data, thorough information on the drug's commercial status in other countries is also necessary. And the documents concerning the medicine, samples and testing processes, product monographs and labeling must also be requested. Clinical study approval in India typically takes three months. And the clinical trials can be filed with the Clinical Studies Registry of India, CTRI. Clinical Studies Registry of India, which keeps track of both the trials and the people who take part in them. And the Drugs and Cosmetic Laws of 1945 provide the following guidelines. The below are the provisions of the 1945 Drugs and Cosmetic Rules. Rule number 122. 122A is the request for new drug import approval. And Rule 122B is the applicant application for permission to import a new medication that is not on Schedule C or C1. And the permission to import or export fixed dosage combinations comes under Rule 122D. And 122DA is the request for approval for clinical trials for a new drug or an investigational new drug. And DAB is compensation in the event of injuries or death during clinical trials is given by Rule 122. The Drugs and Cosmetics Act has been amended to include the definitions for Phase 1 to Phase 4 trials as well as specific obligations for inspectors and sponsors. In 2006, the clinical trials were further split into two groups. Clinical studies that can be performed in other markets with qualified and advanced regulatory regimens in one category, that is category A, while the others fall under another category or category B other than category A. The clinical trials which fall under another category other than category A come under category B. The clinical trials in category A that are approved in United States, United Kingdom, Switzerland, Australia, Canada, Germany, South Africa, Japan and European Union are eligible for quick tracking in India with approval expected within 8 weeks. The clinical trials in category A are eligible for quick tracking in India with approval expected within 8 weeks. Class B clinical trials are scrutinized more closely and are approved in 16 to 18 weeks. And the DCGI should be contacted for an application to perform the clinical trials in India as well as 
data on chemistry processing monitoring and animal testing and you must add the trial protocol date investigator brochures and informed consent documents the ethical committee must have a copy of the document and clinical trials will only begin after the dcgi and the ethical committee has given their consent for the purpose of filing for approval the submission of clinical trial proposal for the purpose of determining safety and effectiveness of the product must be taken into consideration and the conditions that are mentioned for the clearance of new medicines they must be taken into consideration and any improvements in the biological products if the particular medicine is a biological product improvements in the biological products after approval the cost of production and effectiveness record should be maintained and finally preparation of high quality data for new drug submission approval of a medication is a mandatory format and ctd format has been adopted by vast majority of the nation ctd is nothing but common technical document as a result the cds cdsco has agreed to use the ctd format for technical specifications for prescription product registration for human use thank you for watching please subscribe for further videos on regulatory affairs and icsh guidelines